It is repetition which makes for perfection. Let's just see what happens if I actually try to draw exactly what I see. And people think like, oh, this is easier. I guess this is easier. When you're starting out, I would say when you're pro and can draw any pose really, uh, I actually think it, it's more time consuming to do. And I say that because you're trying to basically match something to that. Rather than kind of drawing and having the fun of kind of putting forms together, you're trying to recreate something very slavishly to the source material. So, um, but yeah, this is kind of how I would do it. And I'm making changes now uh, as I go because it's really drawn in a square format and I'm drawing in a rectangular format, as you can tell. It's very uh, uh, knowing um, comment. Yes, I, I agree. You're right. What I've drawn is actually very straightforward and straight on. The reference material, if you're going to use reference material, the hips are our lines, um, so they're facing us. But the shoulder is drawn back like this, actually, in space like this. So that's a very important sort of, if this represents the hips and this represents the shoulders, it's not this, it's actually this, right? Okay, so that's what you have to draw. You have to draw this. <laughs> so you draw this. And then you take the, this part and you turn it so the socket of the shoulder, even though it's hidden by the shield, okay, goes. So I'm gonna move it all down here. And then that would naturally bring everything down here. And goes down here. Okay, okay. So this shield is not directly facing us. The shield, if it were facing us, would be like this. It's actually turned a little like that. So the important thing with that is to show a little of the side shield over here. Yes, the side shield, yes. The coveted side shield, yes. Um, so if you can just indicate a little of that side shield in there. Okay, draw the center line down here. This since from here to here will be uh, greater than from here to here uh, by the power of perspective. Okay. And so when you have this visual element, this, I don't know what it is, what it, is it has to be represent the other side. All right, you put those things in last. And then there's a big one here, and it's got three markings. And it's more or less right there. I mean, it's not, I'm not drawing exactly what's here, because there are devices called photocopiers that can do that for you. Um, and now we're going to do the, the eagle. Now, the thing with the eagle is, um, Rather than drawing the details, you know, which you'll quickly get lost and not really be drawing the thing, but the elements of the thing, you want to figure out what it is. It, well, it's a bird, right? So draw a bird shape first, okay, with outstretched wings. Do the simple version of that. Then afterwards realize, okay, it's actually made up of a sum of parts like this, right? And like this and then go ahead and put that now the problem with this is that I'm starting to overlap what I've already drawn um, I could correct this in pencils or I could uh, correct it in inks so live Oh, you know what I want to also say? I, I did get some nice gifts. I realized that this whole distance is way too large, but so I'm really screwing up this whole shield thing. <laughs> Can you tell it's Sunday? Yeah. There we go. So you draw the big triangle first and then draw the elements here. These look like uh, swans that are sort of facing each other. Like this. 
and this is how you draw like Superman's shield, right? It's like two fishes, two fish that uh, are facing each other. Uh, it's good to simplify difficult shapes into things that you can readily draw and think about. Um, because it, it it just means that uh, well that's how you that's I think that's kind of how you take difficult things like human forms and draw them is that you can simplify all the um, right if there are fish here can you see the fish? We are on that Aquaman theme. <coughs> so the whole shield probably comes down like this. It's not so high up. Kevin Smith is, is uh, writing a story for me. It's going to be exciting. I've never worked with Kevin before known him in a long time but all right so here's the shield that's done right it's funny shield shield haha -ha. okay um shoulders here um there is this sort of v-shape of the vest and uh we recognize that this shoulder strap is larger than that because it's foreshortened going back in space and then there's like some strings holding the top part of it together And the neck would go here, the face would go here, the head, and something like that. The shoulders there. And the other belt goes here. The rest of the outfit goes like this. There's another belt. <coughs> Excuse me. It goes like this. Forearm pops out here. I'll show you a reference so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Um, keeping it fairly loose, as you can tell, so I can have fun with it. When I get to the inks, the hand's pretty small. I'm going to a large, ornate sword. It's got elements like this. Oh, my wife and I finally, uh, refinished the, uh, first season of Game of Thrones last night. Wow, so good. And we saw it long, long ago, of course. But rewatching it, I was like, wow, there's so much information I completely forgot about or never picked up the first time around, is that the characters are all, in many ways, interrelated uh, through history and through siblings. And um, they make reference to each other all the time, as if you knew it. And the first time when you watch it, you don't know it because you don't know the lore. Season two taking us a long time so here's the uh, eye line nose mouth ears one two weird eyebrows so with with this I'm, I'm starting with very kind of simplified shapes what I see which is big round eyeball and then after I have that placeholder down, I'll realize that the eyeball has subtleties to it so that it kind of goes like this. And I will do this at the ink stage, and when you see it, you won't think, I, you'll think I'm just drawing, but I'm actually refining the initial shape I put. All right? And then even this nose. All right? Is 
there's a bunch of hair here. So my goal is not to slavishly recreate this reference, um, but to get close enough so that when I start inking and drawing, my version of Link will look somewhat similar so that people will go, oh, that's supposed to be that character. So I, I don't know if I'll even put the, uh, I'll put it in there, whatever. There's the bow and arrow. Why, why, why did I stream today? I can't remember. <laughs> the love is in the air. I know you're just jesting. I, you better be. All right, so now I'm going to kind of draw and ink at the same time. It's a little, um, and I'm not trying to be a, here, you guys can see what I'm doing here. Although that's pretty slavish to what I pencil now. Here's where it gets a little different. I don't really like those eyes that I put down. Kind of do them at the same time. I don't know, something like that. It's always weird, like, you know, I think people, when they're taking on a new character, they'll draw the character in their sketchbook over and over again just to kind of work these kind of kinks out. Um, you know, how long the cape's going to be? What kind of belt are they going to have? Am I going to redesign the, the emblem on their chest? And take some artistic licenses. top of the head a little bit more. Got some lovely chocolates from Kirihiko. From the Schweiz. It's always helpful when you're trying to lose weight. I've already eaten like 670 Toblerone chocolates. Ugh. And that was just last night, dude. Let me tell you, in this drawing, Link's hair is exactly the length I want to draw it at. How's that? Okay. All right. Awesome. We've established some ground rules. Fantastic. That sounded cattier than I meant it to be. Just know I have immense love for you all. And uh, I'm just trying to keep it playful, interesting. talking about my family they're like hey where's my CSGO sketch that you were going to do for me what's up what's up pops hey where's my wow character <laughs> oh my gosh thankfully they don't care
yet to see it. Hey, any of you guys, um, actually a superhero swimmer, are you, no, someone lives near Salt Lake City. What's a good comic book shop in Salt Lake City? I, I just Googled comic book shop and uh, Dr. Volt popped up. Anyone confirm or deny? Give me a German insult I can use. Um, Unless you are doing it to yourself to kind of, you know, psych yourself up for something like. All right. This was meant to be a warm up sketch, and now I feel like it's going to be the whole sketch or the whole stream sketch. So. So funny, I thought there's shadows on the legs, but they're actually <clears throat> shorts. Very happy character. Supposedly, they sent me money. I never see it. I suspect that's very common. Well calculated, well calculated. See, that's important. And that's generally like when you think about the general conversation about anything our federal government is doing, the numbers they throw out are staggering. They go like, oh, you know, this, this division, they just blew, you know, $105 million on this program. And, but you have to understand, they're doing stuff for the entire nation, over 300 million people. I mean, you know, even if you did something that benefits... How's that for being a, a, a timely stream talking about our federal government? This era shut down. All right. Uh... So now I've got this straight edge. I've got this. I've got to balance that out. I've got to balance that out. And the sword is going to get thinner and then thicker. Let's do it here.
Book and Red got very quiet after I kind of pushed back on his suggestion. I don't know what's going on. That worked better. Um, put it back up for silent auction. If it was the same amount as what was bid before, I'd take it. If not, I'll just give it to Albert to sell. But I'll give the person, it's, just the, it's the holidays, I'll give him a little more time. But it wasn't an email, so. You guys have any holiday plans? Anyone? Anyone do anything fun? I think we're going to uh, just hang around the house and play uh, Cards Against Humanity. And then... Uh, and, you know, and have some wine. And then once everyone gets a little, like, loosened up on the libations, I start challenging people to play Pictionary for money. That's how I make my my year-end targets. <laughs> uh, um, it's legal in California. Never thought I'd see the day. I actually think it will lessen the appeal of it. It's kind of like, uh, you know, before when you were breaking the law, it felt more dangerous, I guess, right? I don't know. I'm just asking. Have I ever done a float spa? I don't even know what a float spa is, dude. Will medical medical marijuana help my drawing abilities? Uh, nine. person would be spanky g4 all right and i had an, uh, a studio and we all worked together this is a cleaned up version of the banter we would have <laughs> um yes uh, there was a lot more ranting on my part Um, practice a lot of the ability to to ink and throw down a line and have that line go over another line uh, is from just sheer practice mind numbing practice very like uh, very boring like um, when I used to ink with a nib I'm just kidding around last dream of the year gotta make a count I've already got my fair collection of dumb friend souls. Sorry. I'm not even going to take that to where it should go. I'm just going to park it right here and not take it where it needs to go. I'm going for him. And so obviously when cancer took him at a very young age, it was pretty 
heartbreaking. So, uh, yeah, I do think about him often. And uh, like Edwin Roselle was another guy from Wildstorm that passed away at a very young age. Um, Nick Manabat, I mean, Scott Clark, I uh, just, I don't want to bring the stream down, but let's just say that we should all appreciate and um, that uh, as you go out and celebrate tonight, it's not just a celebration about getting, not tonight, tomorrow night. Uh, it, it really is a celebration about, uh, think of your loved ones, the people that are important, things that are important in your life. Do some reflection, reflecting. Just consider yourself lucky, lucky that's all I can say. Because I think in those instances, everyone really, you know, we, we think we're all kind of invincible and that these things will never happen to us, yet they do happen to people and people that we know. I mean, it's just, it's tragic. So um, it's definitely a philosophy and approach to life that I try to embrace. So yeah, Raha, Mr. Raha, make sure you get that sketch to me. I've never met Sunda. Sunda. I have not. Whatever draw him? I'm not really great at likenesses. That's not my thing. It's interesting, this leg is a little stouter, i.e. wider than this one. It's easier to correct a thicker leg than a thinner leg, so I'm just going to have to uh, bring this leg in. Okay. Done. All right. I think I've noodled it with this enough. I'm gonna do the background and call it a day on this. This would be a giveaway for anyone in the stream. But don't load up those secondary tertiary accounts just yet. I'm gonna do that later. Okay, spare me. I mean, spare the stream, the influx of, all right, and this is just an inking technique, which is to take the end of a, if there's like two straps of something, if there's a strap of like leather on top of something else, or hair, so put like a little shadow gap at the beginning and end. It makes it feel a little more 3D, right? So we're going to do that. do that where the where the belts are too. Alright, so you see me hit the top and the bottom of the
and uh, it's nice to be able to um, go literally all around the world and uh, meet fans and experience other cultures and see how other people uh, make and create comics and it's cool it's just fun um, nice um, but at the same time it's good when we feel there's some connection to the people that are seeing the art and uh, I think that's a big part of why people go to conventions and this is a extension of that kind of experience albeit digital there's my answer Sundays watching the stream. This whiteout pen is not working. Kids are playing video games right outside the door. of the shield now for this to work the ink has to unfortunately the smudging has to go over the line if you don't go up to the line it looks funny it looks like a its own object or shape instead of being behind the character the figure like right in there So I think I think it's different. A complicated answer to your question is I think it's different for every pro. So. All right. Um. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Let me put that thumb right there. Let me make that. I, I just want the stream to be happy. Is that too much to ask? I'm thinking of putting a background, but then I don't like putting a very basic background because then it makes it seem like that's the actual background. I like the nebulousness of this kind of semi-stream or uh, fog thing. I know I didn't really explain that very well, but let me just say that if I put in real backgrounds, it will definitely put Link into a locale, whereas this feels more ethereal, ethereal even though there's no background whatsoever, right? So I, I think I'm just going to keep it kind of loose and open like this. The fist is size of the face. Have you ever put your face? Uh, several fists can go in your face. I mean, not your face, but anyone in the stream. Thank you guys for tuning in again. It's been a lovely year. I look forward to um, 
uh, more streams next year. I wish to thank you for your kind reception and bid you a fond farewell.